What's up guys, welcome back to more Atlas News. It's Wednesday, there's a new patch this week, V516.2, with the small armor dock, market improvements, fixes, and some balancing. It's a small patch, but it's another patch with the small armor dock, so pretty cool, let's get into it. So first of all guys, they edited this after they posted it to say that they're investigating some crashing issues with the armored docks and some potential data loss from the related crashing and that there will be an update again when they have more info and if you have any more reports then yeah, you can use the link on this post to go to the bug report page and let them know of any more bugs. But onto the actual post. Ahoy Pathfinders, we hope you've all enjoyed the two times event over the Thanksgiving weekend this week. We have a bit of a smaller maintenance patch with the small armoured dock now available. Small armoured docks for schooner sloops will have 20 million health. Wow. Uh, we are also beefing up the large armoured dock to 30 million health. Gold upkeep has been lowered to £150 a day. £150 a day? <laughs> 150 gold a day. While small armor docks will have an upkeep cost of 50 gold a day. We have also made a number of changes and bug fixes to balance and improve the armored docks. Rest easy knowing your furry companions are safe on board your protected ships. Very cool. Development and optimization work for the trade system continues. We have made improvements to the market UI for market searching. Most importantly, we have addressed several server issues to improve performance and latency. Thank you for your feedback and bug reporting as the trade system continues to undergo development. Again, not all features of the trade system, including the NPC ships, are out yet. Subsequent patches will continue to see more and more improvements and fixes. Missing resources and new items are now available for trade as well. Anyone got any ale or grog? We're stocking up for a new adventure as the ramming ship is getting closer to making its debut on the Atlas Seas. Look out for it in the nearby future. That's some pretty cool news that they're, they're giving the armored docks massive amounts of health. Uh, so they're going to be really strong now. I know like uh, like the edit at the start, there is a lot of bugs them right now and some crashing. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Um, but it's really interesting that you're going to be able to store your pets on board in the armored docks, which it sounds like that's one of the steps towards um, easing the load on free ports in PvP, possibly. Um, but either way, it's pretty cool. And... Uh, I imagine it's going to be really, really helpful for the PvP community. Um, let me know what you think down below to that. And is 20 million health a lot? It seems like a lot, man. And uh, obviously the 30 mil for the large armored dock. That's pretty nuts. Um, and you'll also see further down in when we go to patch notes that they've added a gold cost to these dockyards now as well. So they're not cheap. I think that's a good thing. It's going to stop them getting spammed everywhere. It's going to make them very valuable to everyone. Um, and yeah, I kind of like the way that's going and uh, hopefully as the patch goes on or as the patches go on, sorry, and they keep releasing things, things will start making more sense. But this is a good little patch for, you know, it's, it's a small patch, but it, it looks pretty good. So onto the patch notes, new structure, small armored dock. The small armored dock is suitable for protecting schooners and sloops. It can be crafted at a smithy after learning the intermediate ship rope skill in the seamanship tree. It's going to have 20 million health, an upkeep cost of 50 gold every 24 hours, and the crafting resources required will be 700 alloy, 900 fiber, 4k stone, 1k thatch, 1.250 wood, and 10k gold. That's for the small armored dock. The large armored dock increased health from 300k to 30 million. Decreased upkeep cost from 500 to 150 gold every 24 hours. They um, already announced they was going to do that when they released the armor dock, so that's in now. Added 50,000 gold cost for crafting. Armored dock NPCs and tames on protected ships can no longer be damaged. Added a new protected icon that replaces the anchor icon above protected ships. This was after a few people, or at least I see one post mentioning how it isn't very clear when ships were protected, and so they've now changed the icon to make that clearer. 
Ships can now anchor inside an armored dock even if the dock is placed in deep water. Ships must not have received or dealt damage for at least five minutes before receiving protection from an armored dock. Bug fixes. Armored docks can now only protect one ship at a time. Oh, okay, so you could squeeze multiple in there before. Hey, if it fits, it ships, uh, but apparently not in Atlas. <laughs> so only one ship per dock now. Ships are no longer protected after an armored dock is destroyed. Protected ships will no longer decay. This prevents an issue where protected ships instantly sink when raising the anchor after a long period of time. So the, the one before that, the ships are no longer protected after an armored dock is destroyed, is how it was meant to work originally, and obviously it didn't work, but now it should be working. So once the dock has been destroyed, um, the boat will then be vulnerable, which also then would mean NPCs and tames will be vulnerable. So once the armor docks down, everything inside will be vulnerable. Ships brigantine price decreased from 25,000 to 18,000 gold. Okay, I didn't didn't see that when I read through it earlier. Increased max level of common ships from 42 to 50. Note, this change only applies to ships built after the patch. I'm surprised they bought the brigantine cost down. Um, I don't think that was what needed doing. I would rather have seen the schooner price bought down and the brigantine left how it was really. Uh, that's just my opinion. Let, love to know what you guys think. Let me know down below. Trade. Markets. Search now returns a paged list instead of all markets. This should clear up the performance hit on the server when someone opens a market. Okay, so now you're going to have to scroll through pages instead of it all being in one list. Kind of makes sense if that's how it works, and that's pretty cool. Doesn't bother me if I have to click through a few pages to find stuff. Added a new resource type for trading. Rushes, misses from thatch, oil category and variants, salt category and variants, consumables, wheat, maize, ale and grog. Others, cannonballs, large cannonballs, gunpowder, fire gel, Blasting powder, organic paste, and fertilizer have all been added. That's really cool. I really hope they add more to this in the future. I've said before, I'd love it if we could eventually be able to trade maps, blueprints, ship parts, um, anything like that. You know, crafted items. That'd be really cool if we could do that eventually. Obviously, it would get rid of the need for a player shop, but maybe you have the player shop down and people can come and visit it, but also the market registers the player shop and can sell or advertise the stock from the player market, uh, player shop, if that makes sense. Um, but either way, that's cool, some good additions. Some bug fixes for the trade. Addressed several server issues that led to increased latency. Trade routes are now correctly calculated distance when the shortest path wraps around the map border. So if it can go through the map border to the other side, it will do rather than sailing across multiple grids. It will always take the shortest path. Disconnected markets are no longer shown on candidates in the market list. Miscellaneous warehouses and farmhouses can now only be enabled or disabled by players with the same company. My god, it's about time we've done that. That's an amazing change. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, very annoying that, that that could happen before, but hopefully that's fixed now. Restored XP reward to standard Golden Age Army of Damned Soldiers. Yeah, the XP now is back on the the Damned Soldiers on the Golden Age ruins. Uh, treasure will no longer spawn on sea forts. Known issues. Not all available markets are shown up from every other market during search. Upkeep cost on armored docks does not properly show the next time. Upkeep is still taken on skill. Uh, I don't really understand what that means. Upkeep cost on armored docks does not properly show you the next time. Yeah, we'll have to uh, see what that turns out to be. I, I, I can't can't quite work out what that one means. Um, final note, as always, Atlas is early access. Things change, yada, yada, yada. There we go, guys. Nice little patch. Uh, pretty cool. I'm surprised they've changed the brigantine cost. I would rather have seen them change the schooner cost. Fixing the trade and tweaking it as they go, adding in these new variants and also fixing the rushes that was missing from the thatch list. Really cool. Um, 
I actually really like the look of the market now. And um, yeah, hopefully the more they tweak it, the better it becomes. Really do like it, the more, more I see of it. I know I've already seen people saying they don't like the cost of the shipyards, but you've got to remember how strong they seem to be, or you know, just in fear at least, they sound very strong. And it will prevent people spamming these everywhere. We don't want things like this spammed everywhere. It's been a massive problem in the past with shipyards being spammed everywhere along coasts. Um, the same with the farmhouses and warehouses. They need to, um, you know, rein it in, and this will do that. But also, it's making gold very valuable. It's making gold worth something. For a long time, gold has been pretty worthless. Um, for the most part, even in single player now, gold will have massive value. Uh, in my opinion, it didn't have that much value before. You could buy stuff you didn't really need with it. You could use it to trade with other players, sure. But with the actual game mechanics, it didn't really have that much value. So really cool to see them adding more stuff. Yes, they are going to need to add more ways for us to get gold, I would say. But I've seen quite a few. I've not been playing this patch, guys. I've been waiting for the next white because it's too short a window for me to want to get into it. But from what I've been seeing, once you get going and you figure stuff out, it's not very hard to make gold. But at the same time, it's not um, an easy thing to do. So I think that's good. It's a, it seems like a good balance once you get going. And yeah, I, I personally think it's great that they're adding va more value to gold. Might sound silly, I know loads of people are going to disagree with that, but f as far as gameplay goes, that, that's important. Um, yes, it's not adding content to the game. They are just, from what other people have said, you know, you can kind of agree if you want to. I don't necessarily agree with it, but people have said that, you know, they're just um, making it more grindy to fill the hole of the lack of content. But I would say actually, um, you know, they're adding value to the gold, which then gives you incentive to want gold. It makes you want to go and do lots of different things. And hopefully they are going to add more ways for us to get gold, including more fun ways. So we'll get the content later. But like I said, for a long time, gold hasn't really had a massive value. Same as the ships. Ships are now worth stuff now. They're worth a lot of money now. You're going to pick and choose what ships you want to use. You're going to weigh up the cost of ships when you're taking stuff out. You're not going to want to just throw stuff away, um, whether that's in PvE or PvP. And maybe PvP players might laugh at that, but on PvE, you know, you're still going to want to use the right ship when necessary. You're not going to want to risk losing your more expensive ships. So that's across the board in the game, you know. I think that's a good thing. I don't know where the game's going to end up. Like, I don't know what what they're trying to achieve with the end game, like what sort of gameplay they want. And, you know, they've, they've flip-flopped already on whether they want to be fantasy or not. With You know, in the last uh, post, they, they mentioned about maybe bringing some more fantasy stuff back. They was going to move away from it before that. So it's really unclear as to what the end goal of the game is going to be still. But I, I like this direction. I like the trade. I think this is going to work out well. I miss the interactivity of... You know trading with other players but the market does seem to be working well and people seem to be enjoying it again the gold cost of things is a good thing it does need tweaking i really don't understand why they've decreased the brig and not decreased the schooner when i personally feel like and i think a lot of people a majority of players feel like the schooner is the one that needs to come down maybe even if they make it two and a half grand instead of five grand get people in the schooner quickly because the schooner is a massively fun part of the game when you get a schooner for the first time it's a great experience within the game um, I've had a lot of fun when I started playing when I got a schooner I couldn't believe it um, obviously now like the more you've played the game it, it feels like a tiny ship but I remember at the time thinking it was the biggest ship ever and I couldn't believe that how big a galleon or a brigantine must be and I know a lot of people have been having fun in the sloops I, I just feel like the schooner offers an amazing view of Atlas and how much fun the game is and it opens up all of the gameplay kind of thing um, but you still want a brigantine and a galleon so I don't think once you get a schooner you'll just settle to have a schooner if that's what they're worried about I think you'll still want to progress to a brigantine and a galleon um, but definitely for game experience, the schooner is the best experience, like early game. 
I think you should be out to sleep as quick as they can make it happen. Yes, I think they should let you have the sleep for a little while, you know, for a good few hours of gameplay to get used to the game, understand sailing, that kind of stuff, you know, get NPCs on the sails and things like that. You're going to have to use the sloop to get your first bit of gold. So you're not going to like just overlook the sloop, you're still going to get to use it. But I'm worried that people joining the game now will get into a sloop and they'll be bored after a few hours. I don't care what anyone says, the, the sloop is very boring after a little while, especially if you get on and it's busy and you can't find any sunken treasures or you can't get around and do maps. You're having to go like across multiple grids. It's really boring. It's really boring. It's too slow. And a lot of people have said recently, oh, it's not too bad. You can get your gold really quick. Guys, there's not many people playing right now. That's why there's float Sam everywhere. That's why it's easy to get the gold going because there's not many people playing right now. So yeah, it is a lot easier. But I still think even in that situation, new players are going to join and get in a sloop and be like, what the hell? This is nothing like what I've seen in videos. This is not what I've seen in, in the adverts, that's for sure. In the trailers they made, definitely not. So yeah, I'm a bit, that's my only worry with it. As an experienced player of Atlas, um, you know, I know what happens later in the game. I'm not, it doesn't worry me. I know I've just got to grind a bit on the sleep and then, you know, everything else opens up, it's fine. But I think it's too long winded for new players. That's my opinion. You're welcome to disagree, of course. I'd love to know what other people think to that. But yeah, that, that's basically how I feel and I think a lot of people might feel. And like I said, my massive concern there is the new players' first impressions of the game. I don't think you want to keep new players in a sleep for very long. You want to get them in the schooner because the schooner is super, super fun. And you don't need loads of people on it. You can do it on your own. You can even do it without having crew members to start with, you know, the NPCs. You can even sail the, the schooner on your own without any NPCs. So it's a real fun time when you get the schooner. I, I really think they need to make that easier to obtain for new players. I'm not saying give it to them. I think there should be a gold cost, absolutely. I think like 1,000, 1,500 gold, but even if, like I said earlier, if they bring it down to two and a half grams, it's half the price now. I think that would be fine. I, I don't get why they decreased the brigantine cost. I thought 25 grand for brigantines was good. You want them to be expensive. You definitely want the galleon to be expensive. And the brigantine is more useful and used more widely than the galleon. So it should be expensive. It's a great, it's the best ship in the game, the brigantine. There you go. Those are a few of my thoughts, guys. There's the patch notes. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you in the next one.